In this video, we're going to take a look at how to name halogenoalkanes. So naming halogenoalkanes is very similar to naming alkanes. If you've not watched that video yet, make sure you go back and do so. So looking at sort of the general name for halogenoalkanes, uh, we would have a number in front and then name the halogen and then name the alkane. So it might be something like 2-bromopropane. Okay, so very, very simple. Basically, it follows the same sort of rules as how you would name alkanes with alkyl groups attached. Now, a couple of things to keep in mind is that all of these things that are attached get um, put into alphabetical order. So you have to keep all of the different substituents attached because if there's more than one you either want to use prefixes right like the mono or sorry the di tri tetra that sort of thing and then if you have two or more substituents that have the same numbers when you number it from either side you're going to go with the numbering that gives the one that's uh, comes first in the alphabet ignoring these prefixes the di tri and so on uh, the lowest possible number. Okay, so let's take a look at a couple of examples to see what I mean and to name some halogenoalkanes. Let's start off with our first example here. So we have a one, two, three carbon longest chain, and then we have a bromine attached here and two chlorines. Okay. Uh, now, if we want to number this main chain, let's start from here because that's going to give us a combination of 1, 1, 2 versus if we went the other way, we would have a 2, 3, 3. So 1, 1, 2 is going to be our lowest possible combination. Now, uh, we also need to make sure we've got a bromo here. Um, so, and then we have chloro. So bromo with a B comes before chloro. So we need to actually put the bromo first and then the chloro second. So we're going to go to bromo. And then we've got a 1, 1, di, chloro. And finally our chain, which is a propane. Okay, so 2 bromo, the B comes before the C, 1, 1, dichloro, propane. Uh, here's a second example. So let's again take a look for first our longest continuous chain. I'm just going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, and then either way I go it's going to be 5. So I'm just going to go straight just to make it easy. And then we've got a methyl group attached and a chloro group attached. Okay, so let's just write those. We got chloro and we got methyl. Uh, so if we number this way, we go one, two, three, four, five. Um, and then let's just put the other numbering if we went the other direction. Now our rule says basically that if we look at these numbers, the two and four combination is the same as the two and four combination here. So because they both end up with the same number, it doesn't matter which way we go, we're going to give the one that comes alphabetically first the lowest possible number. So that is our chloro, which means we're going to use the blue system of numbering here. And we're going to go to chloro, and then 4, methyl, and 5 carbon chains, so that is a pentane. So it is... 2 chloro, 4 methyl pentane. That's it then for this video. We'll see you in the next one.